In the wake of the tsunami of 2004, many of those who were involved with the recovery process realized the importance of working together with others with complementary strengths to help the communities affected. Our first story today takes a look at the experience of one community and how they used this opportunity to improve their status. Work starts at daybreak for the Ganli Fisher community of Godavaya Sisilagama in Ambalantota. They usually work in the shallows, using nets to catch small fish and prawns. At times, they also go out further into the sea. Numbering around 70 families, they have long been known as the Ganni fishermen because of their practice of renting out the boats and nets they require. Traditionally, they had never been boat or equipment owners, but dependent on middlemen and traders to whom they had to give a percentage of their catch. Because we are in debt, we have to pay whatever amount the traders ask for. If we sell our catch and the price they quote is too high, we can't go and sell to another trader. Things have happened according to what the traders want. The Ganni lost their homes and 39 members of their community during the tsunami. Two NGOs, ActionAid and the Anti-War Front, helped them with the humanitarian relief they needed at the time, including temporary housing. Then, they started assisting them to earn a living once again. And this is where the Ganni got the chance to get out of the vicious cycle of borrowing to pay back debts. With additional assistance from local beneficiaries, like the Oasis Hotel, which is also located on the beach they use, and the local church, they started. And now they are able to buy their own boats and nets, eliminating their dependence on middlemen. We saw the need to create an environment for these people to have the freedom to enjoy what they have earned themselves. When we are working in this program, we don't work individually as action aid. We work as one team. In short, this is a program where the people work for the people. Those who decided to change their vocations and engage in other enterprises were also assisted. Community committees and local fisheries committees voted among themselves to identify deserving beneficiaries who were distributed with equipment. These committees are very careful in their dealing as transparency of transaction is very important. This allows a proportion of community to play a big part in these changes. These programs have trained the people of this community to save. These communities give aid to those who are the poorest in the area. The poor are the first to be helped. That is how these people have reached this level. The recovery process and the experience of the Ghani community involves more than just a revival of their livelihood. It served to build and strengthen their own abilities as they were now empowered and equipped to take decisions for themselves. Previously we had a system where we rented equipment from various traders. We would borrow from traders and we would pay them back. We are able to sell our products to whomever we wanted instead of being confined to middlemen. That is the biggest help that we have got. We are not answerable to anyone. These people have risen courageously to build strong relationships with governmental and non-governmental organizations and are now able to fend for themselves without the help of others. As the sun sets on the beaches of Sisilagama, the Ganni fishermen await the new day to meet the challenges that it brings.